Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is David Brooks, the Cadillac Counselor, coming at you to tell you what's going on in my mind. And I'm going to tell you right now, what happened in Georgia is definitely on my mind. And I'm going to tell you right now, this Robert Aaron Long, man, he got some issues. But I don't just have issues just with him. I have some issues with the police and you're going to definitely hear my opinion on this. So let's get into this. You know, Robert Aaron Long, 21 years old, ran up in three different establishments, massage parlors, mad I add. And my thing is this, is why massage parlors? Me, I'm going to tell you what happened. He wanted a little bit of you know, some touchy feely going on. And I think they denied him. And I think because he got denied, he got pissed because I'm going to tell you like this. I've been to strip clubs back in my day and some of these massage parlors. And I'm going to tell you, some people don't get all of the same treatment in some of these establishments. If you come in there acting kind of strange, kind of weird, they might just give you the massage. But if you want the massage massage, now that might not happen. The thing that makes this most interesting is Mr. Long told the law enforcement that he was struggling with sexual issues. Now, people, come on now. Sexual issues? And so that he said it to help with the temptation of going to these massage parlors that he would just eliminate them. Crazy, literally crazy. Representative Nakima Williams, Democrat out of Georgia said, hashtag stop Asian hate. You're right on point. I want to make it great without the hate all the way around. Police department says that this young man was just fed up and at the end of his rope when he killed the eight people, including six Asian women, um, before heading to Florida. They have video evidence showing that he, his car was there in a couple of the locations. Some of them, they don't have video now, but you know, with all these doorbells and everything else, somebody got a video, but they do have a clear video at one of the spots and they definitely got more information that is leading them to him. But I think pretty much now he's already kind of came out and said that he did it. But this is my thing. The police came out and said, yesterday he was having a bad day. Now, my thing is this, why whenever these little white kids end up murdering people, they just had a bad day? And I'm going to tell you this, man, eight people dying is more than a bad day. But this is my thing. Go tell the family members that he was having a bad day when their family member is dead. That is the most humane answer. Even if he said it, I wouldn't even throw it out there to the public because these captain, you are definitely going to be looked at as being ingenuine and really heartless by putting that out there. I'm just saying somebody probably wasn't supposed to be there. And I'm going to tell you, there's a couple of men that got, got caught up in the crossfire. Some little Mexican got, got, got shot. Um, another guy got killed. We haven't got too much information on them, but does your wife know you was at the massage parlor? I'm just saying horrible way to die. Not being able to explain why you was there. I'm just Next saying Next thing on news that I want to talk about is white supremacy propaganda spike in 2020. The Anti-Defamation League does a record keeping of all of the reports and allegations of, of white supremacy. I didn't know that, but it was in the news, so I had to say it. They said in 2020, they had over 5,125 reports of racism, anti-Semitic or anti-LGBTQ or other hateful messages in America. In 2019, they had 2,724. And we're talking about specific, you know, physical flyers, stickers, and posters of that nature. Listen, racism's out there. 
don't get me wrong, there's a lot of people who says there's really no such thing as racism, but we're not going to get into brand and talk today. But this is the deal. They said that majority of all of the cases come from Texas, Washington, California, New Jersey, New York, Massachusetts, Virginia, and Pennsylvania. But you want to know the one state that they don't is Hawaii. Costs a lot of money to get there, but man, you definitely know it ain't racist. So listen, people, people lost their lives yes last night. Uh, I give a, a a big shout out to the Asian population that you know this is especially the Korean population. Um, something got to be done with this. And and whenever the police are already starting to say that he was having a bad day, just really feels like they are just allowing this behavior to happen and and being okay and justifying it. To me, make it great without the hate. Hashtag stop Asian hate. And you know what? I believe it. Let's make it great without hate. We're still on it, people. All right. Take it easy. Bye.